hello everyone welcome to clean coder youtube channel so in today's session we are going to solve this lead code problem number 283 move zeros uh, this is an easy problem but uh, this is uh, also one of the most commonly asked interview questions so we are going to discuss different different approaches and finally uh, we'll be discussing the optimal in place algorithm so let's start so the problem statement is quite straightforward uh, we are given an integer array nums we are supposed to move all zeros to the end of it by the end it means right end of it while maintaining the relative order of non-zero elements uh, there is a note that you must do this in place without making a copy of the array so uh, here is the example so input is 010312 and output is 131200 so the non-zero elements 1 3 and 12 are placed in the front and zeros are moved at the back towards the right side so for zero uh, nothing changes let's check the constraints uh, the length of the array is between 1 to 10 to power 4 and the individual elements of array could be between 2 raised to power 31 negative to 2 raised to power 30 minus 1 2 raised to power 31 minus 1 okay so uh, let's start from the brute force so the brute force solution could be that uh, we use a extra auxiliary array so in the first pass we copy all the elements from the original array to the auxiliary array and uh, remaining elements would already be zero so that would be my answer so the time complexity of that solution would be uh, o of n but we are using auxiliary space in that case so uh, our main focus is to eliminate that auxiliary space and uh, we should try to do this uh, algorithm uh, we should try to do the manipulations in the original array only which is given to us so let's move to our whiteboard now okay so uh, let me quickly walk through the algorithm and then we'll see the code so uh, we are at uh, this index okay we are iterating this array we are right now at zeroth index so my input pointer would be pointing to the first index uh, i am showing these two as separate arrays but uh, actually they are the same arrays just for better understanding i have uh, uh, drawn them as separate copy but uh, in your mind you can imagine that these are two same arrays the, the input array only okay so whenever i am at zeros in the original array i'll do nothing i'll just skip that okay so i'll move one step forward now i am at non-zero element which is one so what i'll do is i'll copy this element one at the position of input pointer so i'll write one here okay and i'll increment the input pointer by one position okay so my input pointer is here now okay so now this is processed let's move to the next index So again we are at zero which we can safely ignore and move to the next uh, position so now we are at three so whenever we encounter a non-zero element we, what we are going to do is we are going to uh, write it at input pointer position so input pointer position is three so we, we would write here three and we are going to increment the in input pointer by one position okay so my input pointer would point to here 
and my original uh, pointer which is iterating the array would also move one place forward so it would point here now okay so again uh, this is non-zero and i'll write this to input pointer position okay input pointer is pointing here so 12 i'll write here and uh, i'll move my input pointer forward okay so my input pointer would be pointing to here now so what would actually happen is that since we are doing these operations in original array only so the actual output which would be present in this array at this moment would be 1 3 12 plus these elements also right so i'll just write these elements in blue so 3 and 12 so this is the uh, answer in my original array right now these are the values in my original array right now clearly uh, in index 3 and 4 i am supposed to add zeros so what i'll do is now i'll iterate the remaining array starting from input pointer to the end and i'll replace these values with zeros so when this will finish processing so this would contain zero this would also contain zero so clearly i have moved all my uh, non-zero entries to the left side of the array maintaining order and all the zeros to the right side of my array and clearly this algorithm is o of n in terms of time and we are not using any extra space and these manipulations are being done in original array only so let's now quickly see the code okay this is the code uh, i'll quickly explain the code here so move zeros is the function and we are given an input array it clearly if my input is null or array of zero length i can directly return so in third position is the pointer i took ips so this is uh, for for each loop uh, this is num is the every element of nums array so if num is not equal to zero that is uh, a non-zero element case so i'll put that at uh, i'll put that element num in insert position okay and I'll increment the insert position by one also, right? Uh, you can write these two lines as like this also for better understanding. Insert position is equals to num. And in the next line, you can do uh, insert position plus plus. This is the equivalent code of this. Okay, so uh, in the end my insert position pointer would be pointing to some uh, like values in my original array which i am supposed to make zeros so i'm using a while loop to iterate that and make them zeros okay so this is my code let's uh, see the time and space complexity trade-off of this problem so time complexity is uh, quite straightforward it is uh, o of n uh, for doing single traversal and space complexity is o of one since i am not using any extra space so if you uh, liked uh, this sort of explanation of this problem please please like this video and please subscribe to my channel clean coder thanks a lot for watching this video